Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in this video tutorial I'll show you how you can use the Google Forms add-on to send different emails to different people based on the form answers. I've created a simple Google Form for this tutorial to capture customer support requests. There are basic fields like the name and email address. This is followed by a drop-down menu for capturing the issue type. It could be a technical query or a billing related question. Next, we have the priority field where customers can indicate if the issue requires immediate attention. Finally, they can describe the issue in detail and submit the form. When the Google form is submitted, the automated responses are sent based on the form answers with the help of the Google Forms add-on. Now for each response, we will send out two automated responses. Uh, the email one will be sent to the customer confirming that their form has been successfully submitted and somebody is looking into their request. A second email is sent to the technical team or the billing department based on the issue category selected by the customer. Now let's see how to implement this automation inside Google Forms. Now the first thing you need to do is uh, install the email notifications add-on. If you don't have this already, please uh, visit this link to install it in your Google account. I will also leave a link to download this add-on in the video description. Now that our form add-on is installed, uh, go to your Google form and click this little puzzle icon to see a list of all add-ons that are available inside this form. We'll choose the email notifications add-on and then click the open menu to launch the add-on. This opens up the workflow dashboard where you can create and manage your notifications. Now to get started, click the create button and choose email notifications from the drop down list. Now this opens up the notification wizard. Uh, let's give a notification a name. Next we'll give the sender's name and this will show up in the from field of the email that's sent to the customer. You can send emails on behalf of any email address that is added as an alias to your Gmail account. Next, we'll provide the reply to email address and when someone replies to your notification email, the replies will be sent to this address. Let's scroll down a bit and now we'll specify the message body as well as the subject line. I'll first remove all the default values and then enter everything from scratch. First, let me write the subject line here. Anything that's inside double curly braces is called a placeholder and this is replaced by the actual values that are available in the form response. I'll quickly write the message body now. The all answers marker is a special marker and this will be replaced with a neatly formatted table containing all the answers that the user has entered into the form. If your Google form settings allow respondents to edit their responses, you can use the response edit URL marker to include a link uh, that will allow them to edit their responses. I'll also add a logo image here in the email message body. So this section is complete, I'll move to the next section where the recipient's list can be specified. Since I want to send out this confirmation email to the form respondent, I'll turn on this option that says notify form respondent. Next I'll select the question in the Google form where the respondent enters their email address. I'll also put my own email address in the CC field so a copy of the confirmation email is also sent to my own email address. Let's move to the next section now. Here you have an option to create a PDF from the form answers and send it as an attachment with the email notification. The PDF file name can obviously be customized with markers and you can also include custom text for the PDF body. You can also add attachments to your outgoing notification emails using one or more files from your Google Drive. 
for instance, here I have a product brochure PDF that I have in my Google Drive that I would like to attach to every email that goes out to my customers. So the first thing I need to do is ensure that this file is uh, shared with anyone with a link. Next, I will copy the link to this file and paste it into the embed uh, Google Drive files box. So the first notification is complete and I'll click the save button to activate this notification. Now this takes me back to the notification dashboard. Here I'll add another email notification and this will be sent to our internal teams who will be responding to the support issue. Let's give this notification a name. It should be short and descriptive. For the reply to field, I'll select the form field where the form respondent enters their email address. Thus, when a team member replies to this email notification, the reply is automatically sent to the customer who submitted the form. I can also add another email address in the reply to field so that a copy of the response is also sent to them. Let's now quickly write the subject line and the message body. On the next screen, I'll enable the conditional notification section and then write the conditions to route the emails based on form answers. So for the first condition set, I want to send this email to the billing team only if the issue category chosen by the customer is billing. I'll add another condition set and here the email will be sent to a different email if the user has selected another option in the issue category. If the user has not selected any issue category or if the category doesn't match any of the above conditions, we would still like the email to go out. So in that case, we will put a different email address here and all unmatched emails will be sent there. So that's it. Our team notification is now ready. I'll just save it and activate this notification as well. I can add more notifications here. So for instance, I can send a message on the team Slack channel or the Discord server if a new response is submitted. But for this tutorial, we'll limit ourselves to email notifications. Email automation rules are now ready, so let's submit a form and see what happens behind the scenes now. So here's a copy of the email that was sent to the customer. You can see it is personalized containing the customer's name. And the all answers placeholder has been replaced with a neat table containing all the form answers. And this is the second email that was sent to the billing team because the customer selected billing from the issue category. And if you look at the reply to field of this email, it contains the customer email address as well. So whenever the billing team responds to this email, a reply would automatically be sent to the customer. This is how easy it is to set up email notification rules with the forms add-on. And do visit our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons and tutorials. Thanks.